How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy and in this video today we're going to be taking a look at my hands on with the new uh, Sony's 4K camcorder, it's the FDR AX100E and uh, today I had the privilege to visit Sony's uh, offices today just to have a look at some of the new products that were shown at CES 2014, unfortunately I didn't get to go so uh, we had a UK sort of exclusive preview of what's to come. Uh, amongst everything that was shown today like the TV, uh, amongst all the new cameras and the lenses and it showed us the new video camera for making music videos which is quite cool we had to look at a new compact camera with interchangeable lenses we had to look at some of the awesome TVs out with uh, social media integration well implemented for example you get a nice uh, social media Twitter scrolling at the bottom you can also Skype your friends while you're watching football that kind of stuff pretty awesome but what really caught my eye today was a new FDR AX 100E so which is the 4k camera uh, it's got eye resolution 4K, it has a 1 inch type X more R image sensor in there which is what we've seen in the uh, uh, camera like the Sony RX100 Mark II which performs excellently well with taking pictures as well as taking videos as well. Uh, so with the 4K image recording a lot of people are going to really like this, uh, you've got eye sensitivity image, uh, you've also got a nice background defocus so you can get that nice blurred out background, you've got a nice wide angle Zeiss lens in there, you've got 18 times zoom in 4K, you've got 24 times zoom uh, in HD with clear image zoom. Also available is multitude of shooting formats, so you've got 4K 60 uh, Mbps and HD 50 Mbps, so you can do full HD in AVC HD and so on. It's also got some nice connectivity options available, so you got Wi-Fi, you got NFC, you got manual control so you can dial, you can use lens ring, you got ND filter as well and you've got a nice OLED true finder as well. You also get a nice flip out screen on there which I believe is 3 inch display which is also a touch screen you can use it to do zooming in, you got wide range of options available and it also takes a standard SD card as well so you don't have to go out and shed out a lot of money for uh, some special card to use in the camera. You've also got a nice art shoe mount which, which you can attach uh, some of the already available Sony's accessories for cameras like flash. Uh, external microphone you can add it on there. It's also got 3.5 mil uh, ports so you can also add your standard microphone in there as well. The trade price at the minute is about £1,530 and it's going to be available in April uh, 2014 this year. Uh, it's going to be available to the public around £1,800 mark I believe it's going to be but time will tell and I believe even for that price a 4K camera at this price is still really good for what it is. It's really light and in comparison to the old version as well you can see the old version was bulky and it was pricey as well. It was heavy to carry around for shooting just 4K movies. Uh, but this one has managed to shrink it down into a smaller size, it's really light and the size comparison is a massive massive difference as well. So anyway guys do let me know what you guys think, would you pay for this uh, sort of camera, would you pay this much money for a 4K shooting mode uh, to put on YouTube to do whatever you want with is up to you, would you do that? Let me know in the comment below. Uh, is the camera good looking as well, stylish, let us know and some of the specifications uh, what do you think of them? Do let me know in the comment below. If there's anything you want to know about this camera, hit me up on Twitter at GadgetsBoy or just ask me a comment below. If this is your first time watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well for more content. Thank you for watching and thanks to Sony. Catch you guys in the next one.